Yesterday we were in the mid 80s, so definitely warmer with a gusty southwest wind. And we do have some rain possible early on Friday with more storms in the forecast next week. This is what you're waking up to on this Wednesday morning. It is warm and dry and sunny already. 66 degrees, dew points in the 60s too, and the winds are out of the south at six miles per hour. I am seeing a little more humidity, not anything horrible, but as it gets warmer, it will feel warmer. Here's a look at what you're waking up to right now, though. 59 in Marshalltown, 59 in Carroll, and 66 in Osceola. Expected highs today will be the highest in northwest Iowa. This is where the winds will be the strongest, but everyone should make it into the 90s by the end of the day, and a similar setup exists tomorrow with highs staying above average. Now, the winds today will continue to be increasing by four or five o'clock. You'll start to notice more wind and then overnight tonight the winds will stay right around 20 miles per hour and throughout the afternoon on Thursday right around 20 to 30 miles per hour. So definitely strong enough that you're going to notice that added wind. We did have a few showers and thunderstorms move through northeast Iowa overnight right around 10 p.m. Almost an inch reported around Hampton with some hail being reported as well in just a few communities in northeast Iowa. That rain has moved out and it looks calm pretty much the rest of today. We're monitoring the position of this cold front come Thursday night around sunset. So we do have all the ingredients in place for marginal risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Overall, I'm going to be honest with you, the storms look weak and our rain chances look pretty slim, but I'm going to point out when the best chance is. Not today. At 4 o'clock, this is all sunshine. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, I do think we'll see more clouds. And by 8 p.m., this cold front starts to make its way into the state. And as it does, it could trigger some strong to severe thunderstorms. These will be short-lived, and then the front will stall out to the south, and that could trigger a little more rainfall on Friday morning. Now, this system keeps shifting, but right now the latest information has most of the rain falling along the Iowa-Missouri border, then dry and warm again in the afternoon with mainly dry conditions on Saturday. Now you can see a chance of rain in far southwest Iowa Saturday morning and again by the end of the day on Saturday with a chance of rain along the western border of the state Sunday morning, but nothing significant widespread or intense in central Iowa over the holiday weekend. Today, enjoy the sunshine. Just be aware the UV index is high. You need the sunscreen. You need to stay hydrated. You need to cool your body down with highs back into the 90s. We're going to add to the 90 tally so far for the month of June. 68 for the low tonight. We've had a lot of 90 degree days this month and we're going to finish off the month with another one. And then as we start off the new month on July 1st on Friday, 80s with a chance for those showers and isolated thunderstorms before 10 a.m. Best chance right now along the southern border on Saturday 85, on Sunday 87, on Monday the 4th 90, on Tuesday 91. If you have fireworks plans to go to any displays right now, they look dry. Hot and breezy today because we'll be in the 90s, the weather rating has dropped to a 7. I have been having a few folks ask me about these rain chances because either you want it or you want to have your outdoor plans and you don't want it around right now. There's no significant mm -hmm. chances.